I used to be lazy and unmotivated. I'm talking, I was like a dad on a Sunday. I would tell my brother to pass the remote when it was two feet away from me while I was eating Doritos. I was so lazy, even laziness in a human form wouldn't be able to compete. Those were some dark moments in my life. There's no pain like being broke. When I had no source of income, I ate shit food, self-pleasure was habitual, I played video games all day, and I watched Netflix over time. I was so lazy, my parents were sick of it. They told me, Murtaza, you need to do something. I was in the lowest of the low. I was in a period of my life where I was genuinely concerned why I possessed no spark, why I didn't have the motivation to find a job or to do anything for that matter. I couldn't even get out of bed sometimes. I'm 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 embarrassed to admit this, but there were days where I didn't have enough motivation to brush my teeth or to have a shower. I didn't know why I had no drive to accomplish anything in my life. I asked myself, why am I this way? Then one day I read a book, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. The knowledge in that book allowed me to understand my condition of why I was so lazy and why I and what I needed to do about it. So I sat down that day and made a resolve to change my life for the better. Fast forward and I'm nowhere near I used to be. I have a decent source of income. I go to the gym daily. I devour books ferociously and I meditate daily. This is just the beginning of my transformation. The start of my metamorphosis. The reason why I had no motivation in the beginning was because I left school. I didn't have work. I sat at home playing video games for six months. That was my life. When my parents finally got fed up of my bullshit, they kept pressuring me to get a job. You need to get a job, Mataza. You need to get a job every day. They would tell me to get a job. And then I would have jobs that I worked and I was there for maybe four days, maybe even a week. And then I would leave. The reason why I was this way is because over six months of pure dopamine, getting pleasure with no effort, I trained my mind all these years to want things without putting in the effort. This resulted in me not wanting to do any physical work. Instead, I wanted to play video games all day. How I got out of this dark part of my life was I started a job But I made the commitment that no matter how difficult and no matter how shit this job is, I will work here for a minimum a year. I've been working for six to seven months now, so I've held out. I've I've held on to that promise I made to myself. It didn't matter how I felt. I forced myself to work because it's not about the work. It's about attaining the discipline to work. Beauty games was fueling my laziness. And it's not like I just stopped playing video games one day. It took time, but eventually I just stopped. I started doing 100 push-ups every day. The thing is, when you start something new, it's always hard. You're never going to like something in the beginning, but if you remain consistent, you'll start to become more comfortable. Think of it as you're in a bubble of comfort, a circular bubble, which you're inside of. There's a layer you have to pierce, which is your comfort zone. You have to do things that make you uncomfortable every day to undo all the damage that constant comfort and constant self-pleasure, self-indulgence has done to your brain. The reason why you have no motivation or no drive is because you lack pain tolerance as a result of all the years of damage you've done to your brain. When you lack pain tolerance, you lack self-control and you have weak willpower. 
That's why you can't get out of bed sometimes. The solution is hard work. If you want extreme results, you need to take extreme actions. Do some push-ups for once in your life. Yeah, but my arms hurt when I do them. Your arms hurt because you haven't been using your arms except for beating your meat. Go get a gym membership. You have $30 to spend on food every week, but you don't have $30 for a gym membership. That is how you get over your comfort zone and expand your pain tolerance. This is one way of doing it. When you go to the gym, your pain tolerance, your ability to do more increases because you push yourself beyond your limit. I swear my body hurts every day. My body hurts right now talking to you. By the end of the day, if your body doesn't hurt, you're not doing something right. You must feel the pain. Pain equals growth. There is no light at the end of the tunnel without darkness. Likewise, there is no growth without pain. You have to endure the pain to see the light. The fact that I've started going to the gym, I've noticed my muscles growing. My body is evolving and the depth of my mind and willpower is expanding. I feel motivated every time I see the gains. Every time I see the progress, it makes me want to go to the gym. I can't wait for the next gym session. That's how you get motivated.